Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. This is a review of parsing JSON data using Python. JSON is JavaScript Object Notation, is an open data interchange standard. It's a plain text format that is language independent. JSON is a collection of key value pairs. The JSON object begins with a left curly brace and ends with a right curly brace. Each key value pair is separated by a column. So you can put objects, arrays, values, null, boolean, numbers, and white space in JSON files. Python can be compiled from source at GitHub. Python can be installed from downloaded binaries. I installed version 3.12 dot four from the Fedora 40 repos. I'll be using Gini as my text editor, but you can use whatever text editor or IDE that you want for Python. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing we'll do is we're going to import JSON module After we save the file, I had to record over this because my audio volume was so low. Essentially, with Guinea, I can use a Python template called python.py. Most of you will probably recognize the mistake I made here. If you don't, don't worry about it. I will zoom in here to make it a bit larger so you can see properly. And we'll fix that issue later. Next, we'll create a JSON string instead of reading it from a file. So the name is a string, John. Age will be a number. So we don't need to quote that. And graduate will be a Boolean. So we don't need to quote that as well. And if you notice, I use single quotes to have the JSON object because it's a string. Next, we'll parse the JSON string. You create a variable called Python OBJ and use the built-in JSON function or method called json.loads and use our variable the json str or json string then we read the values by the key or name so the name is the python object name age is python object age and graduate will be python object graduate now that we have it we will create a new variable called combined and we'll put the we'll use the strings from the last tutorial in the last video uh, we use f strings so where we can combine all our variables in a nice uh, string then we'll just print the combined string The good thing about Gini is that we can compile Python by pressing uh, one of the buttons there or we can go to the menu and we, then also because there's nothing to build here we can just run into V the output. And the problem with the error is some of you might guess what the problem is and the problem is that well I'll explain it some okay there were spelling mistakes make sure I fix this spell everything correctly make sure we spell graduate correctly
and then create our combined variable using the Python app string. One of the good things about JSON is that you can use you can use it as a database for example once again for blender remember we use in another tutorial we use blender as the uh, we use python to script blender to create a 3d image or 3d text so what you could do is you could have you could put all your variables in a json file and then you could use python to read that json file and then create the uh, 3d image from for blender so as you can see here it's giving me an error and the reason for the error is that let me fix this spelling mistake first the reason for the error is that I named the file python uh, sorry I, I named the file json.py so when I put import json it's trying to load the same file that's why you get you're getting this circular problem because it, I'm trying to import the same file and use it as well. It just it doesn't make any sense. What I want is the JSON model. So the fix is very simple. All you need to do is rename the file. Don't use JSON. The name would have been fine if I was importing the JSON model. So by renaming the file to JSON2, I can compile, then I can run and when I run, success. So you can see the output doesn't have any problems. Remember, you can read more about JSON on the JSON website, json.org website. The full article is available at ujumbo.com slash read hyphen json hyphen files hyphen using hyphen python. There's a video for you, there's a bunch of screenshots, and you can also click here to expand the source, and you can get the source that was used in today's tutorial. So all information about uh, JSON and the types that can be inside a JSON file or object. Be careful with the JSON license. That clause that it shall be for good not evil is incompatible with majority of open source licenses. So if you're going to combine it with an open source, be careful. You can get the learning Python course, it's available now and until the end of 2024 use the promo code SCHOOL where you will get 20% off, that's S-C-H-O-O-L. We left off last time in the learning Python series on strings and as you can see there's more to strings such as escape, uh, but in this particular tutorial, what we cared about was the f strings, just for our output. We use the combined variable, but there's much more, and all this is available in the course, the Learning Python course, only at ojumboshop.com. Thank you.